On March 7, 2026, a routine collision within CERN's 3i Atlas detector produced a signal so perplexing that it left physicists stunned. Within 72 hours, Brian Cox issued a grave statement, warning that this discovery might overturn humanity's entire grasp of reality. A result surpassing the coveted Five Sigma threshold for statistical certainty appeared where none had been expected. This was no ordinary fluctuation. Something beyond explanation had surfaced, and scientists feared the implications. But what exactly had 3 I Atlas observed? And why did it spark such alarm? It began with a single spike inside the detector, sparking a storm of investigations across CERN. The data revealed three leptons, missing transverse energy, and an invariant mass measured at 3.1 tera electron volts. The event's statistical significance was irrefutable, a five-sigma deviation, the herald of genuine discovery in experimental physics. In practical terms, the probability of this signal being a random occurrence was less than one in three and a half million. Initially skeptical, three I Atlas engineers examined every technical component, hardware noise, software integrity, power logs, time synchronization, and sensor calibration. Yet the event withstood all scrutiny. The trigger system, designed to sift through millions of collisions every second, prioritized this reading correctly. No signs of error or corruption appeared. The distinctive trileptin pattern with missing energy remained rock solid under every test. Researchers compared the finding with theoretical expectations. Within the standard model, Events producing three leptons and significant missing energy at these energies are almost non-existent. Even massive Monte Carlo simulations, run across extensive computing clusters, failed to replicate the outcome. The reconstructed mass of 3.1 TeV was far above any known particle resonance. Nothing in established physics could explain it. To exclude cosmic interference or coincidental overlays, the team cross-referenced control datasets and cosmic veto results both came back clean. An independent quality control group reproduced the analysis from the ground up, confirming the same extraordinary result. Three inverse femtobarns of data all converged on one conclusion. The signal was authentic. Word spread swiftly among the three, I, Atlas collaboration. The five sigma mark signifies not conjecture but confirmation, a genuine breakthrough, not a statistical illusion. Though 3 I Atlas had detected countless anomalies before, none had ever endured such exhaustive authentication. Out of billions of collisions, something remarkable had emerged, verified by every subsystem from triggering hardware to analysis code. The natural question followed, what mechanism could create a trileptin plus missing energy event at such extreme energy? And if this was possible, what other unseen phenomena might be hiding within the data? As news of the anomaly spread, Physicist Michio Kaku's remarks soon dominated global broadcasts. His message did not come from a conference or written paper, but through live networks that captured his unmistakable tone of urgency. Kaku described the three I Atlas observation as a cosmic wake up call. For decades, he had cautioned that rapid advances in physics might outpace human understanding. This time, his words carried sharper weight. The discovery, he suggested, was more than a scientific mystery. It was a reminder that nature could still expose gaps in our theories and in our safety assumptions. Global media replayed his statements repeatedly, amplifying their impact. Kaku, long known for warning that frontier science can outstrip control, underscored the broader implications. If detectors were now glimpsing effects outside current theoretical boundaries, perhaps existing safeguards and interpretations were no longer adequate. His caution was not rooted in fear-mongering, but in reverence for the unknown. He noted that history's great physical revolutions, radioactivity, nuclear fission, quantum theory, had all begun as unexplained anomalies before reshaping civilization. The three I Atlas signal, he suggested, might represent the dawn of another paradigm shift. The warning struck a chord. What had started as an internal technical anomaly rapidly evolved into a global debate about preparedness and responsibility. Yet the real tension lay not only in this single detection, but in the possibility that other buried events awaited recognition. Kaku's ultimate message carried a single unmistakable lesson. The universe owes no obedience to our theories. And when those theoretical walls crumble, 
The aftershocks extend far beyond any laboratory. Speculation spread rapidly through physics communities within hours of the three I Atlas signals confirmation. Young theorists, some still in their 20s, began filling whiteboards with new equations and sharing preprints on AR-14 at a pace unseen since the excitement of the Higgs discovery. The trileptin, event with missing energy at 3.1 tera, electron volts refused to fit into any standard model extension that had survived the previous LHC runs. If this was evidence of new physics, it was territory uncharted by textbooks. Some research groups immediately turned to modify their supersymmetry frameworks. Traditional markers, neutralinos, sleptons, and our parity conservation had already been ruled out. But this event ignored those old restrictions. Within 10 days, at least four preprints outline new versions of supersymmetry that could yield a massive neutral particle decaying into three leptons and missing transverse energy, though only under assumptions involving hidden sector couplings or broken discrete symmetries. These theories were not refinements but reinventions. Another line of speculation went further. If the missing energy wasn't from a heavy neutrino or a supersymmetric relic, Perhaps it originated from a dark photon, a theoretical cousin to the ordinary photon that interacts through a weak hidden force. Teams from MIT and ETH Zurich independently posted models suggesting that a dark photon slightly interacting with the Z boson could reproduce the event's unusual characteristics. Their equations hinted at a possible portal into an unseen dimension, with the three I Atlas detection marking its first traceable echo. Though careful in language, these papers revealed clear excitement underneath their caution. A third school of thought shifted focus to the possibility of additional spatial dimensions. If forces like gravity or the electroweak interaction could extend into higher dimensions at the Terra electron volt range, the available energy for rare decays would expand dramatically. In that case, the trileptin event with unexplained missing energy might indicate a graviton escaping into a compactified fifth dimension. Revisiting Randall, Sundra models. Theorists modified parameters to match the observed mass. The mathematics was complex, and the implications profound. Perhaps reality extends beyond four dimensions. Advocates of dark matter quickly entered the conversation. Could the missing energy signal the creation of a stable dark sector particle? Some preprints speculated that 3.1 tera Electron volts represented the mass threshold of a new family of WIMPs, weakly interacting massive particles created in pairs, each decaying invisibly apart from the visible liptonic traces. The anomaly's five sigma significance lent credibility to ideas that had previously existed only on the edges of theory. The momentum was unstoppable. By week's end, over a dozen preprints had appeared, each presenting a different interpretation of the data. Some invoked leptoquarks, Others proposed right-handed neutrinos, and a few even tied the findings to axion-like particles. Theorists weren't merely analyzing the anomaly, they were competing to define the next era of physics. The energy within the field was electric. Early career scientists who had struggled for years with models that never matched reality were suddenly thrust into a scientific gold rush. Theories once dismissed as speculative, dark photons, extra dimensions, supersymmetry with hidden sectors were now legitimate contenders, each carrying potential breakthroughs and risks. The three I Atlas signal had unlocked an entirely new theoretical landscape, and no one wanted to be left behind. Yet with every novel hypothesis came greater pressure. If the anomaly proved consistent, someone's equations would eventually have to align with the evidence. The immediate course was clear. Examine prior data. Compare historical patterns and identify which concepts could withstand that test. For the moment, the global physics community was running at full speed. With one shared certainty, science would never be the same again. Particle physics carries a deep memory, shaped by both discovery and disillusionment. In 1974, the identification of the J slash psi particle transformed the field instantly. Two separate experiments, one at Brookhaven, one at SLAC, detected a sharp resonance at 3.1 giga electron volts, a signal so definitive it forced theorists to acknowledge the charm quark's existence. The data was direct and overwhelming. That episode left a lasting mark. Sometimes a particle truly does reveal itself in a single unambiguous burst. Yet history also offers reminders of restraint. In 2012, 
the Higgs boson finally emerged in both the three I Atlas and CMS experiments, each surpassing the Five Sigma discovery mark independently. The celebration came only after years of ambiguous results and dashed hopes, signals that often rose and vanished with statistical noise. The Higgs was real, but arriving at certainty demanded immense patience. Then came the 750 giga electron volt excess in 2015. Both 3I Atlas and CMS observed a tempting rise in diphoton events above the expected background. Excitement surged. Preprints flooded the internet. Models bent to fit the observations. But as new data rolled in, the seeming signal faded away. By mid-2016, the bump had dissolved, exposed as nothing more than a fleeting statistical illusion. The field moved on, humbled, but wiser. The takeaway was unmistakable. Even a powerful signal can fade when datasets grow. Veteran experimentalists recognize this rhythm instinctively. For every J slash Psi or Higgs moment, there have been countless close calls, a sudden peak in data that appears to challenge the standard model, only to vanish under deeper analysis. The Five Sigma threshold became a safeguard against optimism, a constant reminder that bold claims require equally rigorous proof behind the curtains of every major reversal. Like the 750 giga electron volt episode lies the evolving discipline of discovery itself. Research teams now rely on blind analyses, concealing the signal region until every background influence is quantified. These statistical reversals are more than footnotes. They're hard-earned lessons that nature doesn't owe us new physics. No matter our hopes, each anomaly undergoes endless testing and only the most persistent ones endure. The current 3i Atlas event fits into this tradition, a spark that warrants both enthusiasm and restraint. The legacy of past surprises is clear. Celebrate possibility. But remember how quickly the horizon shifts. In physics, humility remains as vital as ambition. The next discovery could redefine science or become another cautionary tale. Either way, the guidance stands firm. Trust the evidence but always double-check the dream. Superconducting cables thrumming with power. Particle beams slicing through miles of vacuum. These are not just marvels of technology. They form blueprints for a future capable of reshaping the foundations of energy, security, and exploration. The same collider systems designed to probe the universe's deepest mysteries are already inspiring new generations of zero-loss power lines that could transmit electricity across continents with no heat dissipation. Imagine a planet where blackouts are relics of the past, where storms in one hemisphere can't plunge another into darkness. That vision isn't fantasy, it's a direct consequence of high-energy physics research. Yet progress always casts a long shadow. Theorists studying dark sector dynamics have raised a sobering point. If the laws being tested near 3.1 tera, electron volts are more delicate than assumed. Potential risks may reach beyond the laboratory's walls. Some safety assessments, still debated but carefully reviewed. Explore remote scenarios in which micro scale vacuum decay could trigger unpredictable outcomes. While the odds are infinitesimal, the principle is unchanged. Probing deeper layers of reality means accepting that not every door can be forecast before opening. The energy concentrations achieved in these experiments rival those at stellar cores. For policymakers and engineers, that represents both promise and peril. Innovators are already building on collider-derived materials, quantum detectors, and precision sensors to craft new tools for defense and infrastructure. One could soon see orbital satellites equipped with detectors sensitive enough to detect approaching comets months in advance, or industrial installations shielded by materials capable of withstanding cosmic radiation. The potential rewards are transformative, cleaner energy, safer environments, and smarter cities, but every breakthrough carries risk. A single miscalculation, a flawed assumption about fundamental physics, and devices born for protection could become liabilities. This is not merely a matter for scientists behind secured walls. Every technology born from particle physics, from quantum processors to advanced shielding, eventually affects the greater world. The line between revelation and disruption is perilously thin. When the rules of nature evolve, so too must the rules for those who rely on them. 
The recent anomaly underscores one truth. Advancement is not only about invention but readiness. Our ability to face whatever answers the universe gives when we ask its deepest questions. Diplomats and scientists now stand an unforeseen crossroads. In Geneva, a closed-door meeting of United Nations delegates gathered under one central question, who should possess authority over discoveries capable of rewriting reality itself? The urgency is undeniable. Proposals for global regulation have reached both the UN Office for Outer Space Affairs and the CERN Council, each stamped with a looming deadline, 2027, the year of the next Unispace Summit, with major spacefaring nations and the global physics community watching. Oversight has shifted from academic concern to planetary imperative. A draft under discussion outlines a permanent regulatory board encompassing CERN member states, independent safety specialists, ethicists, and representatives from developing nations. Its language is firm. Any experiment operating at energy scales comparable to stellar interiors would require pre-approval before proceeding. Advocates argue the era of scientific self-policing must end. The potential consequences of uncontrolled breakthroughs extend beyond technology to the fabric of existence itself. This initiative isn't limited to particle physics. The forthcoming ANOSA framework aims to unify governance across quantum computing, cosmic observation, and high-energy experimentation, fields whose rapid progress risks outpacing ethics and policy, much as in the 20th century's more turbulent innovations. Leaders now debate the scope should private labs be bound? Should defense applications be exempt? Or is transparency the only safeguard against catastrophe? Michio Kaku's recent cautions echo through every corridor of discussion. For decades, he's argued that scientific ambition must be tempered with humility, and that power on cosmic scales demands shared accountability. The focus has shifted from whether to act to how swiftly global action can be secured. The 2027 deadline looms as both marker and warning. The window for responsible decision-making may be closing fast. The direction chosen in the next two years will determine not only who steers the future of discovery, but who must bear the consequences if the universe responds in ways beyond prediction. On March 7, 2026, the 3 i Atlas detector at CERN recorded a remarkable trileptin event accompanied by missing energy at 3.1 tera electron volts confirmed at a five-sigma level. It represented the first verified anomaly of its kind, with multiple review teams finding no trace of hardware or software error. The detection drew urgent cautions from physicists such as Michio Kaku and, notably, Brian Cox, who emphasized the unprecedented nature and potential consequences of this finding. Despite focused follow-up runs, the event did not repeat, deepening the enigma 3i Atlas Run, 3 Data, and immediate AR-14 analyses have proposed possibilities ranging from undiscovered physics to as-yet-unidentified cosmic influences. Yet the central mystery remains unresolved. What triggered the signal? And does it hint at deeper threats or opportunities hidden in the universe's structure? Now, as the UN and CERN weigh new global oversight frameworks due by 2027, Cox's warning still resonates. Humanity's understanding of the cosmos and its ability to manage discovery may not yet match the scale of what's coming. The 3i3i Atlas anomaly stands as a reminder that every revelation in physics carries twin forces, wonder and responsibility.